I'm Tom Adler, and it's a great pleasure for me to be here with Rudy Pizzotti in his studio in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his works, which are in the permanent collection of the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette. Uh, first, let me ask you, uh, when did you first become interested in art, and maybe when did you first decide you might become an artist? Well, I think it goes way back, uh, second grade maybe, okay. uh, also partly in the genes. My mother did very beautiful uh, embroidery work, mm. did her own designs and images, and she had two brothers who did hand-carved sculpture okay. and uh, mm -hmm. furniture. So I think it's it was there from the very beginning and nurtured by a lot of people. Uh, but uh, living in a small mining town in, in uh, southwest Colorado, uh, there weren't many opportunities. So mm -hmm. it really happened after I left, uh, finished high school and went to the University of Colorado. Mm -hmm. Now, in our permanent collection, we have four of your works, uh, two of them from the late 60s, early 70s, and two others from 2009, so it's quite a span. Yes. Uh, the first two, the earlier ones, are an engraving of the medieval musician and yes. a lithograph of uh, two men. Two men. And then from 2009, we have uh, that wonderful etching, Apollo, which is yes. one of the most popular works in our collection. <laughs> and then we have the Outer Worlds uh, mm -hmm. from that Two same period. Worlds, right. um, can you tell us a little bit about the stylistic techniques that you were using mm -hmm. at the time that you worked on both those sure. separate the, sets of uh, The mu medieval musician is a hand-done engraving, pure engraving on copper plate. Mm -hmm. Uh, had great interest in the medieval civilization and the architecture. Uh, spent several years in Italy on a Fulbright in Guggenheim, so mm -hmm. well steeped in, in the imagery and always been interested in music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made drawings of things such as the subjects of the bell ringer and yes. the zither player. I don't know which one of we those. We have the bell ringer. The bell ringer, yeah. right. And uh, loved also the medium of engraving, mm -hmm. the idea of the linear depiction and uh, the amount of, of uh, control that one has to have, uh, but at the same time a freedom to be able to express something because you're not using color. Mm -hmm. You're trying to create form and convincing people about uh, three-dimensional qualities. Mm -hmm. um, the two men is, uh, I came to lithograph uh, later than the other media. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a little more hesitant in the medium of lithography compared to etching and engraving and woodcut. But uh, uh, later on in my career, after spending a about three months at Tamarind in okay. uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, I got to do a tremendous amount of work, but mostly in making the imagery and letting everybody else do the technical mm -hmm. part. And we printed small editions of 20, so we did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it helped free me up and, and give me a better concept of what the medium was capable of doing. And the other works, uh, the Apollo, of course, came from um, 10 years of study, in a sense, mm. because I was in Russia uh, for the State Department in 1961 okay. when Gagarin orbited the Earth. Mm -hmm. And when Kennedy said, in a decade, we're going to put a man on the moon. Right. So, I started my own idea of, of Apollo and watched the development of this through the years. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when, when it was about to happen, I was well into the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the biggest pieces I've done and the most intricate in terms of color. Color and, yes. And, yeah. and involving scientific elements. Yeah. Uh, probably not too well represented for the <laughs> learned minds, mm -hmm. but for me it was uh, a real adventure. Yeah, for all, all the intricate little images that yes, are around that. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah absolutely. And, yeah, and then with the with the outer worlds, the, yeah. the fascinating thing for me is the way that you've taken the aluminum and yes. then superimposed it on the on the uh, right. uh, print. Right. And that was the link up in space between uh, the Russians and the Americans. Mm -hmm. And I thought that it would be a good companion piece for the Apollo mm -hmm. to have both of them in your collection. Yeah, they make a wonderful set. Yes. Yeah. Now, since that 2009 period, I understand your work has gone really in a different direction. Well, it, th that's what happens when things change. Uh, when we moved to Meadowood, um, I lost the use of my big press. And when you don't have that, you got to um, be smart and find other ways right. to express what you have in mind to do. And I think the, um, the ability that, and the opportunity that the uh, uh, new direction has offered you don't rely on the way you were able to express so easily many of those things you've done in the past. And uh, I worked a little harder, uh, did more research in material, finding it in newspapers, magazines. Mm -hmm. Moving out of my studio, I found all kinds of, of elements that I'd been putting away. So maybe you suffer a little bit by losing all of that, but you find something else which takes its place. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been an exciting venture to see how far I could go, both in scale and in what the, the contents of the work. Um, I think the later things that I've done in that direction that involved elements of my drawing, watercolors, um, old proofs of prints that I'd done in the past, um, in a sense makes it more legitimate. Mm -hmm. It relates it more to who I am as an artist mm -hmm. and uh, what I was able to express. Yeah, it's almost that like your signature is there in many different ways yes. in those right. collages. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, you know, you've you've uh, had an extraordinarily long uh, career in the mm -hmm. arts and in uh, in in printmaking, especially. Um, as you look back, is there anything that you think that you really have achieved as an artist that sets you off, perhaps, from well, I from think, others? I think I feel very good about the work I've done, mm -hmm. but I also feel very very good about the program that, that we put together here at Indiana University mm -hmm. uh, together with Marvin Lowe and uh, Wendy Kalman, who were my okay. two uh, mm -hmm. associates on the faculty. But we also had tremendous students. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they make you look good. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope we deserve some of that, but uh, we set a pretty high standard, especially for the uh, Master of Fine Arts, mm -hmm. and uh, we took many people who um, were a little older, a little more mature, they had been out in the world, probably very good at some other profession, and uh, just brought them in there and, and let them uh, grow and develop. They helped bring other students that weren't quite that uh, well informed yet mm -hmm. up to a, a better level. Mm -hmm. um, we extended the program by a year, which infuriated a lot of people at the beginning, but the, it's the clear wisdom at the end that it did a great deal of good. So the fact that you've been a teacher artist is yes. very important to right. you. And you mentioned the two words, teacher and artist. Um, they watch you very carefully, these people, especially the very good ones. And uh, being really involved in the work that you do and what you demand of them, they see that you're making similar demands on yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I pushed them out into the university. I made them take uh, this is not much. I made him take at least six hours in any other department. Okay. 
I made sure they went to concerts and listened to good people speaking. And um, in other words, you know, really make them use the university. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I feel students have a tendency to find a very comfortable zone and mm -hmm. not be challenged. And I thought that especially the very good ones needed to have that. Well, in many ways, that's been a reflection of your own work, where you bring in yes. so many disparate disciplines right. and so forth, and your knowledge and interest and love for so many different yes. things. We did a lot of mixed media work. Um, sometimes they went out into ceramics and tried to put the printed images on, mm -hmm. on ceramic surfaces. They worked with fabrics and uh, things of that nature. Okay. Well, we really appreciate your graciousness in inviting us into your studio mm. to be with you for a little bit. Well, it's been my pleasure. And uh, I, th I think that Indiana University and Purdue uh, have a, a tremendous amount of, of, of uh, wonderful programs, things to offer. A lot of nonsense is spoken about football and basketball and all of these things. But essentially, I think both institutions are doing a marvelous job in the basic idea of edification and teaching. Okay. Thank you again. Been a pleasure.